Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? What do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? Financial constraints. So you may be dealing with some financial issues this week. Um, things may not be where you want them to be. So this is the cupboards are bare by the looks of things. I'm not saying that your cupboards are bare, but I'm just saying there's, there's not as much as you are used to. So you may not be getting the money that you're used to or you're, you're struggling financially or something like that. That may be your focus this week. You may be focused on your money, you know, trying to uh, bring your revenue in or bring your money up or something like that. Whatever's happening, it feels like, uh, you know, there's, there's definitely not a lot. You know, things aren't where you probably want them to be financially. So that's probably your focus this week. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that has financial constraints and you know that could be an issue as well maybe it's not you maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with and it's causing stress that's a pile we're not taking that so I do whatever's going on you're dealing with some financial constraints this week whether it's with you or somebody that you're dealing with um, and that could cause a problem it could definitely cause some sort of anxiety or stress you know when you don't have money it's stressful <laughs> or you don't have what you're used to having it can cause problems you know it can cause anxiety so you may be having some anxiety or the person that you're with is um, what do we have for Pisces one card please it may have something to do with banks you may be working with banks this week or or something like that you know something is definitely going on in your financial arena Dagger. Interesting. I mentioned anxiety, fear, worries, tense situations. You may be worried about your job or your business or your bank account or something else. Rose. Romance is in the air. So there is love around. Um, make sure that you are balancing out your relationship with your job. You know, that may be something you might want to consider. But I do believe you're obviously in a tense situation that you're worried about. Uh, could be with a partner with that romance card. Um, you may feel like you don't have enough to offer. There he is. Never fails. So anyhow, um, romance is in the air. What do we have for Pisces? Working, 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 working. So yeah, I think you're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your job, focusing on building up your bank account. I think you're putting in a lot of effort. You're trying really, really hard. Um, you may be more focused on your money and your job than you are on romance, and that's probably something you need to consider. You may be burying yourself in your work, you know, trying to bring that money in. So, yeah, interesting because we have somebody over here that is not really focused on love. You notice the cup is covered. That means they're, they're not uh, letting their emotions out. They're not focusing on, on their, what their, you know, their relationship. They're not focusing on uh, giving their heart away or opening their heart. I feel like there's some sort of sadness here. You notice this Queen of Cups doesn't look like she's smiling. She or he, this person is thinking about love and probably has an opportunity for love but isn't really um acting in a way because of worries you know it's interesting um we have somebody here that is not giving their love away they're not opening their heart they're not emotionally invested in a relationship when there is an opportunity for a relationship here there's opportunity for love there is but we have somebody here that appears to be emotionally unavailable, very much focused on their money, focused on their job, focused on their revenue, focused on, you know, their business or whatever. Um, very, very worried, worried about their money more than they are what love, more than love. So I think that you, and some of you may be in a tense situation, could be with a partner. 
and you know it's causing you financial constraints you know maybe you're doing all the work maybe you're doing you're paying for everything and you're dealing with somebody that isn't you know putting in their fair share i do feel like you're definitely in a tense situation right now where you're working 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 and you're not getting the emotional fulfillment that you want okay there's a lack of emotional fulfillment here there absolutely is you may be in a situation where there's not any love because you notice the cup the cover is on the cup, so there's not love flowing freely around you. There's not. And there's unhappiness. I mean, this person isn't happy. They're not. And that would be your energy. You know, that person's not happy. So, we, you know, focus. We may be burying your emotions in your job, in your work, in your, in, you know, your bank account. Ah, there may be another woman here or another person. You could be dealing with somebody that is lazy. You could be dealing with somebody that is jealous, that is manipulative, that is um, not very healthy. You could be dealing with somebody that's not very healthy. I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse is a lack of determination, a lack of confidence, laziness. This person may be sick all the time or poor, poor, pitiful me. I feel like you are, you may be under somebody else's control as well, somebody that is very forceful. It's like this person is lazy. I think you're dealing with somebody that is lazy or they're just not healthy. They're not healthy. Somebody doesn't have any ambition. They don't have any drive. They're boring. You know, the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that uh, doesn't have any get up and go. And maybe that's why you're not really... Maybe there's a lack of love here. I mean, the Queen of Cups, with the cover on the cup, there's a lack of love. So there's a lack of love here. And there could be another person, because romance is in the air, but there could be somebody that has some sort of power or control over you. Yeah. Refusing to move on. So I do believe that you are dealing with somebody that is causing you some sort of restraint, right? Um, they're refusing to move on. They're refusing to go. This person has been causing you some sort of trouble. I feel like you, 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 you're in some sort of rocky patch, you know, with this person. This person won't let you go. They want to keep hold of you. They're very, very controlling. They don't want to let you go in some way. And I feel like it's really affecting your heart. You know, you just, you just want to build, right? You, you want financial stability. You want love, but it feels like you got somebody here that has some sort of, has something over you and you aren't free of them yet. You can't, they won't, they won't leave. It's like they just won't leave. And it feels like you've been waiting for them to leave. You know, it's interesting. I do feel like you have an opportunity for love that is probably being ignored, but you know, there's, you're in a troublesome situation. You know, whoever you're dealing with, it just won't leave. And I feel like it's costing you money, you know, or it's it's costing you, you know. Um, death. It's ending. Okay, so you're waiting for an ending. You are waiting for an ending. This is a profound life change. Whoever you are dealing with is not healthy. They are not healthy. They are... Um, very stuck they're stuck here right now they, they they don't maybe they don't have the money to leave you know or they don't want to leave because of the financial security that you provide for them you know something like that either way you have a new beginning here after they leave they are eventually going to leave this is going to end whoever this person is they are very they're troubled they are troubled and they may have some fear. They may have fear of going to a better place. They may have fear of being alone. You know, whoever whoever you're dealing with, maybe they have they can't take care of themselves financially or they or they fear that they won't be accepted or something like that. Whoever you are dealing with um, is definitely holding on. They are holding on and I'm not sure why they're holding on because this doesn't look like it's a lovely situation where there's a lot of love. This person um, has a lot of fear. They have a lot of fear. It's like they need somebody to take care of them. And perhaps, you know, you've been so loving to them and you've been taking care of them. They just, they want, they want to keep that. You know, they want to hold on to that. Anyway, the death card is a major ending. There is going to be a separation. You will be separating from this person. Um, but I think that there's a lot of uh, 
worry that it's like never gonna happen. This person's never gonna leave. They're never gonna leave. You know, so I feel like you're just sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and you've been working and and putting in a lot of effort. Meanwhile, the bank account or the business or whatever isn't being as fruitful, okay? Things aren't, aren't panning out the way that you had hoped because I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's draining you. Whether they're draining you financially or they're draining you emotionally or both. Um, either way, you do have a new beginning here. This is a ending with a new beginning to follow. So whoever you are dealing with may be stuck right now but it is going to end. But I'm not sure it's going to end this week. Let's see. What is the death card? The death card is a major completion of some sort. Things will end. They will end. Wow. These are both cards of trans of transformation. So you have a... Things are going to change. This person is going to leave. They are going to travel. They are going to go. But right now, they're, they're, they are in some a place of fear, but they are going to be taking charge, or somebody is going to be taking charge. They're going to find their faith. They're going to move forward with faith. I feel like somebody is going to be moving after they have been reluctant to do so. You know, they they maybe they're packing up and they're leaving, or they're just getting in the driver's seat. They're taking charge. They're replacing that fear with faith, and they are going. So somebody is going to go. But, you know, I don't feel like it's soon enough. I don't feel like it's soon enough. Um, because of that mental turmoil with the Six of Swords reverse, this person is very troubled in controlling and they don't want to let go of control. But they are going to. There's good, death card is a separation that, you know, basically leads to success leads to freedom. So you are going to be broken free from this person. And you're going to be going in a new direction because they are going to move. Somebody is going to, and it's going to break you free. So there is going to be some movement this week. There is. There is going to be an ending of some sort. This is somebody that takes charge, that finally takes the reins, you know. And I don't know if it's you or this other person, Mm, the Fool card reverse. A lot of fear here. We have somebody here that is very fearful. Fearful of not um, being able to take care of themselves not, or not being accepted. This is a missed opportunity. Somebody has missed an opportunity and they have let fear get in the way of success. Anyway, this week, this week there's going to be a change because death card is a change. It's the ending. It's a major ending that leads to a new beginning, but there's been a delay. There's been a big delay because of another person that will not move. They will not make a move because of fear. But this person, I feel like whoever this person is, is they are going to be facing their fears. They are going to be facing their fears this week. Mastering emotions. There could be a sudden ending. I got to be honest because this could be very sudden, impulsive, and this is an ending. So there could be a sudden ending this week where somebody just makes a decision to go. I'm leaving. Very, very suddenly, that could be the case. Whoever you're dealing has been staying, maybe because of financial reasons. Justice. So a decision is definitely going to be made. Justice is a card of decision, a final decision, accepting the truth, seeing the truth, acting with integrity, doing the right thing. Signing a contract, you may be dealing with somebody, and this is the end of a contract, could be a karmic contract, a contract is coming to an end, somebody's going to be signing a contract, maybe it's a new contract, maybe it's for a home. But this is the end of a contract, absolutely. Moving in a new direction, 
So somebody's going to be moving in a new direction, but they are extremely fearful of doing so. But they are going to be moving. This is the end of a contract. Some sort of decision is being made. Somebody, whoever you're dealing with, has probably been saving their money. Maybe they've been saving their money or, or something to do with money. Somebody's been saving money. There could be news of legalities this week. You know, there, there could be some legal issues that pop up this week. Somebody may have, you know, signed a new contract and you find out about it this week. It may have something to do with moving. Whatever is happening, um, you're going to be broken free from something because this is freedom. It really is. This is an ending with a new beginning to follow that leads you towards success. You have been in a troublesome situation with an individual that has been very fearful of leaving. They've been very scared. You know, they wanted to stay where it was safe. It was safe with you. But there's no love here. There is no love here. None. So, you know. So I feel like this, it's a week where there is a decision that is made and it is a final decision to end a contract. This person is going to be moving. They are going to make a move. They are. Yeah, this is the end. It is absolutely the end. This is liberation. It's freedom. Freedom from a painful situation. You have been in a situation where there's been a lot of suffering. There's been pain. There's been heartache. There's been uh, betrayal. And I feel like this is, a, this is the week where the decision is made to end it. These are, these are both endings. So you have, a, this is a week of transformation and change for you. You may be a little fearful. You may, maybe you're fearful. Maybe you're scared or they're scared. There is fear here. Absolutely. There's fear. Fear of a new beginning. Fear of falling on somebody's face. Fear of being alone. You know, fear of um, legalities. You know, fear of something. There's a lot of fear. But I do see somebody moving in a new direction towards success, dealing with opposition, taking charge, okay? So whoever you're dealing with is going to be replacing their fear with faith and they are going to be moving, okay? This is the end of a painful situation. The decision is being made. You know, this is a, a final decision as well. can't do it anymore there's been this is such a betrayal you know I can't do it anymore may have somebody here that has some back pain as well I do see somebody here that is not healthy okay they're not healthy they don't have a healthy mindset they don't have a healthy outlook on life this is somebody that is draining you know they are um I feel like it's just almost like a hypochondriac kind of thing. They have all kinds of ailments, you know, and it's draining you. Anyway, this person is about to go, okay? They're going somewhere. They have been reluctant to go in that direction because of fear. But there is liberation here and there is freedom. And you're going to, going to get exactly what you deserve because justice, that means something is going to go in your favor. If you're worried about money, if this person has been using you for money, don't worry about it. It's going to go in your favor. If you're worried that, you know, they're going to do something against the law, if they do, it's going to go in your favor. Okay? Justice is on your side. It's on your side. Whoever this person is, they have drained you. You may have drained your wallet or drained in some way. 
But anyhow, I feel like this loveless situation is coming to an end. So yeah, I do feel like there's another opportunity here as well, but that romance is in the air. Okay, this is an ending with a new beginning to follow. So I do believe that you are going to, you know, you have an opportunity for love here. You absolutely do. As soon as this person loses their grip, okay, that Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody that has a strong grip. This is somebody that is very controlling and forceful and manipulative and miserable and poor, poor, pitiful me. You know, I can't do it, you know. Lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth has made you feel bad. This person has made you feel really, really bad. I do feel like you have another opportunity for love here and you've been waiting. You've been waiting for this person to get out of your energy. They are going to be leaving. And you have another opportunity right here waiting for you. So this is a week of change and transformation. Okay? That's what I got. Good luck.